good morning to one and all in today's lecture we'll discuss about the multiple access techniques before discussing the multiple access technique let me tell you what is multiplexing so multiplexing is it is a technique where two or more signal combines and use the same channel for transmission that means we are use, combining the two signals and it is using the same channel medium for the transmission that is called as your multiplexing for example if you have a basement tower here the basement tower it is representing the user 1 we have a user 1 user 2 user 3 which means this is in the form of example of multiplexing here it is a basement tower and we have three users connected to it and it is providing a channel medium so that is known as your multiplexing now if we talk about the multiple access technique the application of multiplexing is to help users to get data over the same channel for example if we talk about we can say wifi because as we know okay, when we use the wifi so there multiple connections can be done through your wifi now coming on to the types of multiple access technique first one is your tdma that is time division multiple access cdma code division multiple access fdma frequency division multiple access and ofdm that is orthogonal frequency division multiple access now first we talk about the fdma that is your frequency division multiple access now here we have the fdma suppose if i take the frequency band for user 1 user 2 and user 3 that means we are taking the different frequency band for different users now see there is a space between the user 1 and the user 2 that is known as your guard band so guard band is present to avoid the isi that is your inter symbol interference so we have discussed about the inter symbol interference so guard band reduces the bandwidth efficiency here the fdma technique is a <clears throat> first generation technique so here the first generation transmission data transmission is done now here the bandwidth per user is less which means your data rate will be less because the bandwidth is less so bandwidth per user it will be less so that means your data rate will be less so this is the example of your first generation that is 1g now if we talk about the tdma that is time division multiple access now here we have taken there were some drawbacks in fdma the first drawback was your guard band so to overcome your guard band guard band we took a new technique that is your tdma that is time division multiple access now here see we have user 1 user 2 and user 3 so here we have taken the different time slots for different users now there will be a problem of delay it would be present over here so in time slot the user is using the full frequency band at high rate so this is a technique of your 2g generation that is it is used in 2g generation data transmission for we can say for example in gsm that is your global system for mobile communication gprs that is general packet radio system and your edge that is extended data rate for gsm now there were some drawbacks in tdma so to overcome that we introduced the next technique that is your cdma so in cdma the different orthogonal code are being used for different signal here the problem of isi occur that is the inter symbol interference now here the same code is multiplied at the receiver to detect the signal transmitted which means we multiply the same code at the receiver to get the signal to detect the signal that is being transmitted so it is basically the method of your third generation so it uses your third generation it basically has a frequency band of 1.25 megahertz one of the example of cdma is your wcdma so here in wcdma it has larger frequency band therefore the data rate would be better so it has better data rate as compared to your cdma technique there were some limitations also in wcdma there was less data rate there was a congestion problem resource wastage and bandwidth efficiency resource wastage is just all about for example if the, in the nights we almost sleep so we don't use the data so that's why there is a wastage of your resource wastage bandwidth is efficient less data rate and there is a congestion problem 
Now the next technique that is your OFTM that is orthogonal frequency division multiple axis. So OFTM frequency division multiple axis it is a technique where orthogonal subcarriers are used. So it is basically an improvement of your FDMA technique. For example, if we say we have a we have a bend, this is a square bend, this is a time domain. And if I represented it in frequency domain, so it will be a sync function. So this is how we represented in a frequency domain. So basically what we can say that the different subcarriers can be sent with the same use of lesser frequency bandwidth. Here the it has better efficiency. Here the guard band is not required. And the next it uses the fourth generation LTE that is your long term evolution data transfer is used in your OFDM technique. So I will be discussing further about your CDMA and OFDMA. Let me memorize it. So what we started we did multiple access technique. Here we started the TDMA, CDMA, FDMA and OFDM. TDMA is used in your first generation while CDMA is used in your third generation. TDMA is used in your second generation, FDMA is your first generation and OFDMA is the fourth generation. So here in FDMA we saw we have the frequency band. Here there is a frequency band. There is a difference between the two frequency band that is your different frequencies allotted to the different user. So this gap is known as your this space between the user 1 and user 2 is known as your guard band. So this guard band is used to prevent your is used to prevent avoid the ISI that is your inter symbol interference. So to overcome FDMA we go to the next technique that is your TDMA. So in TDMA there was a problem of delay because the delay was present different time slots were allotted for the different user. In time slot user is using your full frequency band at high rate. So full frequency band will be required over here. Now to overcome some of the drawbacks in TDMA, we came to the CDMA that is your different orthogonal codes are used for different signals. Here the problem of ISI was there. Same code is multiplied at the receiver to get the signal transmitted. So it is basically your third generation technique. And coming on to the last one that is your orthogonal OFDM. So the orthogonal frequency division multiple axis it is basically a technique where orthogonal subcarriers are used. So it is an improvement of your FDMA technique. So this was all about your multiple access technique. In next lecture we will be discussing in brief about CDMA or FDMA. Thank you.